Good evening, everyone. We have told you about who's your lives lost over the past year and a half of this COVID-19 pandemic. Tonight, we share the story of Rich Andriol. He was known by many as Coach. Today marks one year since his passing, and Rich is being remembered just as much for lessons taught off the field. Here's a look at tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. On this autumn day, they gathered to golf, but the common bond that brought a lot of them together was baseball and a man that meant so much to so many on and off the diamond. I'm just amazed at the outpouring of support, and it speaks to who he was as a coach, but more importantly, what he did off the field in changing lives and, and developing people just beyond athletics. Rich Andriel passed away in November of 2020 after a battle with COVID-19. Just 50 years old, Rich spent much of his life around the game of baseball. More than two decades as a high school coach, he led Cathedral to a pair of state titles and six appearances in the finals. He loved the game, but I think he liked making us good humans. I think he liked making us turn from boys to men. I think that was his 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 whole mantra was to, you know, teach to um, just make us better people. Tommy Hunter was one of Andriel's players to make the big leagues. Cathedral grad Dylan Peters got the call up earlier this year. Being a player is some he's a he's a guy you wanted to play for. Um, you wanted to emulate, um, you know, you wanted to try to match his intensity every day. Along with being a coach, though, Rich was, at his core, an educator. As big an influence in the classroom as he was on the field. Coaching is teaching. Um, you're, if you're good at it, it's teaching. It's, it's getting to the heart and the mind and doing something beyond what are we actually learning here. And it, you know, translates in so many other areas. So he was the consummate teacher uh, and always doing it wherever he went. Your friends, they all have dads that have different jobs, um, but they don't really get to be involved in it. And as a baseball coach, I, like I was able to go to practice and I was able to watch my dad work and do what he loved to do. A Hall of Fame coach, husband, father, brother, teacher, leaving a legacy of players and students that learned so much from him along the way. Really proud, yeah. really proud. Um, I think that's the best way to heal is to be together, sharing the stories, uh, teach each other what we learn. What I heard continuously is I would not be the person I am today to my kids, because a lot of these people are now 30 and 40 years old. I would not be the man I am today, the father I am today, if I hadn't met your brother. The golf outing and other events raised more than $60,000 for Catholic school education through the Archdiocese of Indianapolis. A big thanks to the entire Andriel family, friends, and former players for letting us be part of their story.